how to fix internal server errors for a WordPress site. Yeah, internal server errors can be thrown for many different reasons. It could be that your server could be down temporarily and it has nothing to do with your WordPress site and so on. Or it could be to do with plugins, some settings and so on. Now I'm actually going to throw 500 internal server error just to show you. I'm looking at .htxs file. Let me make some mistakes here. Let me remove that here as well. Let me save this file and upload it to my WordPress site. And let's go and refresh to see what happens. And voila, we've got internal server error. Now the reason I show you that is if you just install plugins or if you modify .htxs file, this is the file that you should always think about first, apart from the plugins you've just installed. Because the main causes for internal server errors are the plugins that you're installing, adding all the additional functions or codes, thus breaks your WordPress site. Now, if you just installed a plugin and then you all of a sudden see 500 internal server error, then you know it's to do with plugin. But the fact that you can't log into your WordPress site means you need to log into your web hosting account. Once you're there, press on files, press on file manager, then in there you'll see WP hyphen content folder, browse into that, go into plugins folder, and if you're seeing a plugin here that you've just installed, the best bet is you simply, let's say, we'll right click it, let's rename it, let's say test as an example or sample anything you want rename the file and then go and refresh your WordPress site to see if that fixed the 500 server error now what if you didn't install the plugin and somehow this is you know, let's imagine you've done nothing on your WordPress site for this to happen if that's the case it is more than likely it's to do with your web hosting account you can connect to the status of your server most web hosting accounts will show you what's going on with server status perhaps they're updating it and so on so I'm going to show you a couple of other methods as well now let's imagine you installed a theme and all of a sudden it broke your site what you can then do is simply go back to WP hyphen content folder Go into themes folder select the theme you just installed that caused the 500 internal server error and then simply rename that theme as well now the reason you renaming it is because this is troubleshooting right so then when you refresh your wordpress site if it comes back on then you know it's the theme so you should perhaps get another theme if it was a plugin you do the same thing now once you do these tests and then you still can't access it then you know it's not to do with your theme so that you can now rename it back to its original source file name for the theme or for the plugin as well now I'll also show you what to look out for troubleshooting 500 server errors you can go to databases go to php my admin and you know start exploring character encoding because if there is a mismatch i'll also show you what they look like on a typical theme so you can if you can access header.php file in your theme if you were to provide character encoding or double check the character encoding and make sure it's the correct one that may also remedy 500 internal server errors as well
but the main causes as I've said is the plugins or the themes you've just installed or it could be your web hosting going through an update or server reboot and so on at the end of the day I've shown you a few different methods that from experience fixed 500 server errors and the most complex one being PHP my admin um, database collation and so on you just have to google about PHP my admin database encoding to learn more about it because that's a very complex subject matter at the end of the day try all these methods first before you dive into the database collations I thank you very much for learning with me keep in mind rank your YouTube channel does have more WordPress related tips and tricks as well and I'll talk with you in the next video session